There was a time in college where I was really struggling. Um, I was struggling with what I believed. I was struggling in an even more intense way with who I was, who I am, what I was living for. And I remember going into the confessional. We were, I was on a retreat, and I remember thinking to myself, like, what am I doing here? And I walked into the confessional and just started talking with the, to the priest about just how inadequate I felt as a person. Um, as a perfectionist, you just, you're never enough. And I remember I was slowly starting to turn to our Lord and slowly turning to the church and after running away for a while. And I remember the priest, we were in the confessional and I just laid everything out to him. And he looked at me and he said, you've been running for a long time and you think that you can be good enough and smart enough and perfect enough and if you can do all these things that God will love you and you think about love on human terms because unfortunately that's kind of how humans are it's what can you do for me what can you give me what can you show me but that is the complete opposite of how our, our Lord works and I remember not understanding all the truths of the church and starting to slowly understand it but the first step for me was really understanding that I didn't have to do anything to deserve God's love and I was actually kind of running from God because what I would what I would do is say okay Lord I'm just going to perfect this and change this and get this out of my life and lose 10 pounds and then I'm gonna present to you the perfect Sarah and then you're gonna love me and I'll deserve it and I'll be worthy of it and that priest showed me for the first time that it wasn't about what I could do for the Lord. It had very little to do with that. It had all to do with my surrender to Him and my yes to Him and to allow Him to love me for who I am, for who I was, flaws and all. And that was so huge for me in my life and in my conversion um, to put down the world's idea of perfect and to be able to be embraced by our Lord for who I was. And that was a truth that really was the catalyst to opening my heart up to hundreds of other truths.